Hey, Franklin. It's Monday. I'm Eric Stuckey, your city administrator. So it's time for the top three things you need to know this week. We are right outside of City Hall. I've got my pumpkin and believe me, I'm pumped because we're running down the end of October and we have three important things to share with you this, uh, this day. So first and foremost, tomorrow, Tuesday, October 26th is election day. And I know you've probably heard me talk way too much. You're probably out of your gourd hearing me talk about uh, election information, but tomorrow's the big day. From 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., there are eight voting locations across Franklin. You can vote at any of those eight locations. It does not matter if you are in that ward or where that location. So you'll be voting for your ward alderman and the remaining two years of the unexpired term, the at-large alderman's seat. So you'll have two, two folks to vote for, and the locations are the Cool Springs Conference Center, Hunter Bend Elementary School, Perry Creek uh, Elementary School, First Presbyterian Church, the County Enrichment Center, the Church of the City, Legacy Middle School, and Franklin Christian Church. So check those out. We'll also put a slide up, I think, that'll have that information for you as well. So that's item number one, important. Make your vote heard uh, as you select new leadership. We'll have four new aldermen uh, this week that'll step in and, and serve the community for the next two years in the at-large case and four years for the uh, ward alderman. So that's item number one. Item number two is Pumpkin Fest. This Saturday on the square in downtown Franklin from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. The event you love and know, Pumpkin Fest is back in all its glory. Uh, and it'll be a great event with vendors and food and kids and dance and music and all sorts of great stuff. Come on down, enjoy it, dress up, have a good time, bring your kids, bring your pets, it's a great time. And so uh, we, we look forward to hosting that event uh, every year and it's back in, in full strength, so it'll be great. Item number three also relates to Halloween. We get this question, we especially get this question when Halloween lands on Sunday. Is there a specific day that is declared for trick-or-treating? The answer is no. That's up to you in your neighborhood, so check with your HOA, Homeowners Association, if you have that in your neighborhood, or check with your neighbors. Most folks tend to do it on Halloween, which is Sunday, October 31st. I know West Main, where we close off the street, and lots of folks like to go there. I know they're doing that on Sunday, but it is a neighborhood and a personal uh, decision about when you decide to give out candy and welcome those trick-or-treaters. So the city doesn't get into declaring that, and we for some reason get a lot of questions around that this this time of year so that's the information there those are your top three things vote on tuesday if you haven't already for the alderman election it's important polls are open from 7 a.m to 7 p.m pumpkin fest this saturday uh, from from 10 a.m to 7 p.m right here in downtown franklin and then trick-or-treat check out your neighborhood see what your plans are there and have a great safe week and take care we'll see you soon don't get spooked.